A Russian lawyer is disputing claims in an email chain President Donald Trump's son released today. Donald Trump Jr. released what he calls the full exchange that shows him discussing plans to hear information that would potentially damage Hillary Clinton's reputation. Channel 2's political analyst Bill Crane with us this evening. Of course, one of the biggest questions is why didn't Trump Jr. produce these emails months ago? The answer to that and the damage involved is probably substantial in that it's not so much what the Russian government was able to do or even really what the Trump administration then campaign may have been conspiring to do or not conspiring to do with the Russians. It's this series and chain of events. So you initially have uh, General Flynn say he didn't give a full disclosure to Michael Pence, the vice president. He's discharged. Then you have the U.S. Attorney General indicate that he forgot about some earlier meetings with the Russian ambassador, and he corrects that record. Then you have Paul Manafort, the president's campaign manager at the time, acknowledging he's done paid work for the Russian government and the Ukrainian government. And now you have the president's son, his eldest, his son-in-law, taking meetings with people who were at least representing themselves in these emails as representatives who had connections to the Russian government, who was trying to help Donald Trump's campaign. If this had been disclosed six months ago, at the time of the General Flynn investigation, I don't think it would have amounted to all that much. Mm -hmm. But when we lay it out like that, and all the time the president saying, nothing happened in my campaign, no one in my family, and basically saying, if anything did occur, it was distant satellites in my sphere, people right. at the periphery of my organization. Well, now we have the campaign manager, his son, and his son-in-law, at least in meetings acknowledging this is the purpose of those meetings. Right. It may not have come to any fruition. Right. But that was the, and, and one of the messages from Donald Trump Jr., if you have what you say you have, I love it, sounded more like Spicoli in Fast Times at Ridgemont High <laughs> than, than a skilled political operative. His, the, none of the Trump children had, school, had political experience right. prior to this campaign, but by June of last year, they were coming off a very heated Republican primary and had been involved in a number of states. Stakes get higher when you move into that general election, and I think he wasn't as schooled or as knowledgeable as he should have been. Bill, it's early in this, but we're interested in your opinion on the following, since that's your role here uh, with us at Channel 2. Uh, as today, Senator Tim Kaine, who, of course, uh, Hillary Clinton's running mate, used the word treason, saying we've entered into an area that is treasonous behavior by Donald Jr. Um, how about that word, and does it apply? I don't think we're at the act of sedition yet or comparisons to Benedict Arnold, but I do think it was an ill-chosen word. Just as Donald Trump saying lock Hillary up or calling uh, then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton Hillary, it's it's stoking the fire before you have the facts. Let's look at the facts. And if the White House would come forward, if there are any other meetings like this, any other contacts like this, any other phone calls, let's dump them all out now and not have, as we did in the Watergate years, story after story after story after story, where if nothing else, the president's credibility is so damaged, his ability to govern is challenged. Great point, Bill Crane. Right. Thank you.